Welcome back to The Big Show. It's Alex Belfield in the morning talking to my favourite people and a lady who's had a horribly disappointing week. There she was. She was going to be the big star of Dancing on Ice and booted off within nanoseconds. I'm awful sorry, Nadia. How are you? No, skate booted off. I'm, I, I, I'm coining that phrase and I was never tipped to be anything on Dancing on Ice because I never actually conquered my terror of it. I mean, it was so funny because when we were... Obviously, I've done a lot of live television through my career and so a lot of people backstage that hadn't were terrified of the cameras terrified of the audience I wasn't I'm not bothered about cameras and I love a live audience the only thing I was still terrified of was the ice so <laughs> I said to my skating partner right you know I'd been saying to you know for the, the days running up to it listen darling we're almost definitely going out on Sunday let's have the time of our life because if we don't we will regret it forever mm-hmm. and we did and my skate off I had just the best one because I just held myself into it and it was absolutely brilliant and we went to the bar afterwards and had a few jars I have to say and did laugh that's why I'm so hoarse today we laughed for about two hours I think probably <laughs> but um, it, I, 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 it did everything for me that I wanted to which was I had lost three and a half stone and I wanted to feel amazing in a glittery costume and I, and I did that that's for sure Can we talk business because I want to talk to you about your finances this fascinates right. me do you get the same money being booted off as long as you don't yes. walk yes. Ah. So actually, you could say that it's worked to your advantage because you can carry on working now <laughs> exactly. and you'll still get the same money. Exactly. And I don't have to get any more bruises and I don't have to be cold and I don't have to be <laughs> and I don't have to cry every day. What incentive is, what is there then to stay in these shows? Because I know I'm a celebrity is the same. The deal is you get the same amount of money if you're mm. kicked off day one as if you're there for six weeks. Mm. So is it just your ego of wanting to win that would get you through it? Well, I, I never, right, for a start, I never, uh, never ever did I even consider for one moment that I could win. I, 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 the money is, you know, TV is not what it used to be. So the money is probably, probably one of the worst fees I've ever had in my life. Um, it was really about me <laughs> having lost a lot of weight and wanting to do something really out of my, completely out of my box because I would never have done anything like that before I'd lost the weight. I would not have had the confidence to do something like that. And I'm in that kind of zone at the moment with the age that I am, I'm wanting to do crazy things that I would never have done before. Mm. So, uh, and that was just one of them. I think now I'm going I'm to do either the Great Wall of China or something like that. And I want to keep big challenges going for me all the time because it really excites me. Can I love it. Can I be it. honest with you? Yeah. I've known you for a while, and I actually quite, well, rather enjoyed you and thought you were foxy when you were heavier anyway. You were never unattractive. So uh, is this in your head more than in mine, or is it just a personal thing that you want to look delicious? Well, you know what? It's really kind of you to say that, and a lot of people say that to me. And people say, oh, I didn't realise you were big until I saw how big you were. So that that's really great. But you know what? It's about it's it's much more about feeling confident. And the thing is, it's the energy levels. When you put when you're carrying three and a half stone, I was getting to the top of the stairs. I was out of breath. You know, it wasn't so much that I thought I was ugly because I don't think I was ugly it was just that I was starting to feel really old and I was starting to do things like thinking oh you know I'm at that age where I should wear like caftans and stuff like that you know (laughs) and and, and, you know I know big jumpers hanging down and and I was just accepting that and the thing is now I'm like what am I going to do next you know Mm -hmm. I've got so much energy and that's why I won't stop the exercising now I've lost the weight because it's the exercise that gives you that so listen guys people listening don't focus in like oh she got to size 10 you know she looks like this focus into what I'm saying which is that you feel brilliant you feel mm. brilliant and you feel like you can do anything were you like me was there a period where you were wearing uh, black so that it covered the man boobs not that you'd have man boobs <laughs> well I had a few more boobs than I needed I can tell you um, <laughs> yes but and black was suddenly the only colour that suited me you know it's this amazing thing that you can look into the mirror and tell yourself such a multitude of lies and black was the only colour that suited me well how ridiculous with my colouring I can wear canary yellow if I want <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to talk about your new DVD. It's called Fat to Fab. Mm. And I, I, can I be really honest with you? Because yeah. I do a lot of jokes on my programme. Are you going to be one of these fatties that loses weight, makes the DVD, and by next Christmas you'll be back up twice as big as you were? Well, I really don't think so. I mean, I because, and I tell you why I don't think so, is because of this, this surprise that I had, that it became about how I was feeling much more than how I was looking. It was really, really interesting for me that this is, this is the best bit of it. You see this? You feel how I'm talking to you. I have this level of energy all day long. 
you know and really? like when i'm nervous about something like tomorrow i've got like i think thursday i'm doing a tv show friday i'm doing a tv show what i will actually do now i will wake up earlier this would never have happened in a million years before and i will exercise before i go because then by the time i get to to the to the tv studios i'll be feeling really like zingy and really positive about myself and really energized oh so, i have to have the blood of a newborn child to get out of bed in the well, morning well well i was like that oh. i was like that so <laughs> <laughs> that I'm not willing to give that up. <clears throat> That's more important to me, really, than my bottom size anymore. Mm-hmm. And of course, uh, we know you and your sister for different reasons. Mm. Uh, you're both uh, two TV stars, and you keep working. What I love about you both is you pop up here and you pop up there, and people are pleased to see you. Mm. Is that a relief to you? Because many people just come and go, don't they, in the business? Yeah, I, mean, I think we've both been really lucky, actually. I mean, the, the public just seem to be really fond of us. You know, when we go out, people are so lovely to us. And we always say, you know, we've had the luck of Joe because we don't know anything about anything. Same here, love. I'm the same. I turn up here every day. No idea. I know. I know. So, yeah, so we so we love it. But she's a jammy one, you know. I mean, she went into semi-retirement in her 30s because she'd earned a fortune. Because she'd been like, I'm still not getting over that. Oh, I'm jealous it gets you nowhere, Nadia. But she did. And then she, she went into semi-retirement because she'd worked so hard from such a young age. And she was like, I haven't really made any roots. I haven't really made proper friends. And then she was in retirement for about three years. And she said, oh, you know what? I think... I think I think I'll I think I'll come out of retirement now. I think I'll do a, like a costume drama or something. Dring dring. Two days later, she was doing Cranford. <laughs> dring dring. A week later, she was doing Lark Rice to Candleford. It's like, how does that happen? Yeah. You know. So she's just she's, she's jammy. She's jammy, but she deserves it. She that does, only happened to me it. once. I was working on Wakefield Hospital Radio, and I thought I need to do this professionally now. And then Leeds Hospital Radio phoned and gave me the breakfast show. Neither one paid, but it was still a promotion. Yeah, if you know what I mean. It's funny, isn't it? It's funny. <sighs> how did that happen? It's depressing. <laughs> it's depressing. Never it's, mind. <laughs> it's your lovely dulcet tones, love. Hey, listen. You had to be. You had to be found. I'm a fatty. Listen, I gotta be honest with you. I, I am enlarging the portions, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, what I'm am I gonna it. learn from your DVD that I don't get from everybody else's? Okay, I think what you're gonna learn is because on my DVD, and this isn't on any other DV, DVD, I'm in the kitchen cooking as well. So because I'm passionate about food, I'm a foodie. I'm a food writer now. I, I you know, I won Celebrity Master Chef. I've been a great cook since. I was four years old so for me what was really really important to get across to people is if your body is not really well nourished and your taste buds aren't tingling with happiness you will feel deprived and you will feel feel de-energized so my ethos if you like is that eat really well so that if you've only got 20 minutes to exercise you're going to hit it with such energy that you're going to really make a difference to your body is exercise paramount you can't look good oh, without exercise forget it Forget it, forget right. it. You are not going to do it. It, it. Nothing is going to change if you don't exercise. And you ha- and I think it's really important that you say, "I'm choosing to do it. I'm not doing it because I have to." Because you won't. It won't have an effect. Get really excited about it. I would just like to say, I don't talk on the DVD. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> what a relief. I know. I, sh- I did my research. I watched everyone else out there, and you know who you are, other celebrities. And let me tell you, you're very annoying the fifth time round. <laughs> so we just get dance music, do we, or something? We get great music. And we did get, and did we you get... include anything from Jane McDonald's new album? No, we did not. We had no. we had we had all the music done specifically. Oh, how annoying! For, I was thinking yeah. a bit of you know, it's getting better, or uh, you're yeah. my world would have been lovely to have a little jig too. No? Oh no, it was all, it was all it was all special. I keep saying when you say choreographed, you don't choreograph music. What do you do? Well, you composed. write it, don't you? Composed, yes. composed. Yes. And yeah, if you're composed. a dead uh, writer, you decompose, don't you? <laughs> hey, listen, it's been great talking to you, and thanks oh, for coming on. Nadia oh. Sawala is uh, the star of a new DVD called Fat to Fab Workout, and, uh, well, it's paid off for you. You look delicious. Oh, and thank you so by much. the way, I don't know whether you're a married lady, but if ever you're fancying the larger man with ginger hair and not much going on elsewhere, uh, I am <laughs> definitely up for the job. Um, I'll give you my telephone number, and if oh. you're ever up in Leeds and you fancy popping round, we could have dinner together. The, I think there's a whole future that could take place. What are the chances of that happening? Well, as long as we can have a bit of exercise too. Oh, well, that's, <laughs> that's a given. <laughs> On that note, we'll leave it. Nadia Sawala's new DVD's out now. Fat to Fab. See you soon. Ta-ra. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye.